pounds did what? not receive five billion. That is propaganda. I have two hundred million. That is the money that is held. Two hundred million, sixty-four million. I worked in the Ministry of Lands and Settlement. Ten million. I worked in Kenya Power. Thirty-three million. I worked in the Ministry of Livestock. Another forty-six million. I worked in another organisation called Patek. Up to two hundred million. That is all the money. But when you set policemen to investigate, they don't understand accounts. When you save money in a fixed deposit, it leaves the your personal account, your suspense account. A normal policeman looking at it, movement in and out four times a year of 200 million, he thinks you have 800 million within that year. So when he multiplies by seven years, he says you have 12.4 billion. That is the folly of the kind of investigations we are having in this country. I don't have billions, I have 200, 203 million into that account. And that is part of my wealth. I'm worth 800 million, minus the 200 they are holding, another 600. So just a quick follow-up on that, Honorable Borigadi, because the charges you are facing are as a result of trading with county governments. What's your position on public officers doing business with government, whether at the national level or at the county level? By the time I've done all my businesses, I was not a public servant. I was a private individual. I have no conflicts of interest. I was a businessman. I made, I applied for tenders and competed, open tenders and won, and did construction business complaining. Today, those charges against me. No evidence in court. Nobody is willing to record a statement. Clean business. And I never traded with institutions because I was not part of any government. But this that is when is your business brother... I did in 2011. I did in 2012. You know? When they said that uh, my brother was governor, my brother became governor in 2013. I did business in 2008, in 2009, in 2010, uh, 2011. And that money is there. And it's all documented where it has come from. But nobody is bothered because they just wanted to punish me. But they wanted to blackmail me okay. into supporting the handshake. And I'm a man of principle. And Uhuru Kenyatta knows that. I respect my conscience. I will never be intimidated. And I can tell you, many governors today supporting us, me, it's because they were black male like me, and they gave in. On Honorable Gashagwa, just clarity, in 2009, 2010, there was no county governments. Which government said, did you do? Sorry? There was no county governments in 2009. I'm saying, I'm saying I made money in 2010, in 2009. There was no county tenders. government. I didn't make money with the county government. I never did uh, business with the county government. I said I worked with the Ministry of Lands. I worked with the Ministry of Livestock Development. So you cannot say that there was conflict in Nyeri because I did this business long before county governments came into place. But Honorable Gashagwa, the matter in court is about doing business with county governments. I'm saying the matter in court is a matter that is on fabricated charges. And that matter will be coming in the fullness of time. What I'm talking about is the money that is held and where it came from. As to the allegations, as the matter before court, there is nothing. It's absolute lies. There is nothing. And in the fullness of time, and that is why, even after sending 200 policemen to arrest me in Nyeri and drag me naked in front of my wife, in front of my workers, drive me to Nairobi, lock me for four days, one and a half years later, not a shred of evidence, nothing. That is why the case has not taken off. They have slated it for September later this year. But still, nothing has been presented to us. Our lawyers have been asking, give us evidence against regarding Ashagwa. It's not forthcoming. It does not exist. It's a fabrication. It's blackmail. It was a way of trying to force me to abandon William Ruto. Okay. But I was not intimidated. I remain on board. Okay, Honorable Karo, you have two minutes. An Azimio government will have a policy position that graft cases and all serious crime should be investigated and prosecuted within a given time, within six months to be specific, so that 